Hi guys, my name is Matti Sulanto and in this video I'm gonna have a bokeh challenge. I'd like to see if you can recognize some lenses based on their bokeh. It's not forbidden to go out here in Helsinki, but I don't want to go out unless I absolutely have to. So I needed um, an idea or topic for a video that I can do inside. And I came up with this idea of a bokeh challenge. And I'm gonna have two parts. In this first part I'll have 25mm lenses and in the second part that's coming up uh, in a couple of days I'm gonna have short telephoto lenses between 42.5 and 50 millimeters. For today's challenge I took every lens that I have here right now that covers 25 millimeter focal length and I found seven lenses, seven such lenses, two primes and some zoom lenses. And I'm fully aware that I'm comparing kind of apples and oranges here. But who cares, I think it's still gonna be interesting to see what kind of differences there are between the lenses and the main purpose of this is just to have some fun. And I constructed this very elaborate test scene, part of it is still behind me, I used some lume cubes and some Christmas lights to get some bokeh balls and some uh, highlights in the background. And uh, here is the test picture that I shot on every lens. And I'm also fully aware that this is not maybe your perfect test scene, but this is not meant to be a scientific test, but more like a fun test for you guys. And I took two pictures on each lens. One at wide open aperture and one at f5. And the f5 is because that is the maximum aperture of the slowest lens at 25 millimeters. I also used a tripod and the shooting distance was exactly the same with every lens. And I made very minimal post-processing for these pictures. Just very minor brightness and contrast adjustments and I double checked that the color balance is the same in every picture. I think I already said I found seven lenses that can cover 25 millimeters, and those seven lenses are here. But now let's take a look at the photos that I shot on these lenses. But I'm not gonna tell you which photo was taken on which lens. Each photo has a number that corresponds to a lens. But I'd like you to try to recognize which number course or which, which photo corresponds to which lens. And at the end of this video I'll give you the correct answers. This first set of pictures is shot at f5. And like I said before, the f5 is because that is the slowest, uh, the max, <laughs> that is the maximum aperture of the slowest lens. But here are the, here is the first set of pictures. So how did it look? Did you see any difference between the lenses? I guess not. They all look, at least uh, the, in this uh, scene, they all look pretty similar when stopped down to f5. And it also makes me think that if you are mainly shooting stopped down, it doesn't really matter which of these lenses you are using. Of course there could be another situation, like maybe a backlight situation or something, that uh, could reveal more differences between these lenses. But in this scenario or situation, the differences are very minimal between these lenses at f5. But let's now check out the 
other set of pictures that is shot wide open on each lens. And the numbers are the same as in the previous set. Same numbers correspond to uh, the same lens. Okay, I think now you saw a much more difference between the lenses, because almost every lens had also a different shooting aperture. And I guess you also noticed that the framing is not the same in every picture. And that's because the angle of view of the lenses is not the same even though I shot every lens at 25 millimeters. And that's quite normal. If you took, for example, every 25mm prime lens, every lens made for uh, Micro Four Thirds and shot them side by side, you would probably notice that the angle of view is not exactly the same uh, on, on every lens. So it's quite normal that the lenses, even though they have the same nominal focal length, they still have slightly different angle of view. However, I still found it interesting to see uh, how much difference there is between some of the lenses. And also I could see some minor differences in the color rendition between the lenses. The correct answers are in this picture. But anyway, let me know in the comments down below if you could, what kind of results you got and if you could recognize any lenses based on their bokeh. And the second part of this bokeh challenge is coming up in just a couple of days. And in that one I'm going to be using portrait telephoto lenses between 42.5 and 50 millimeters. Thanks so much for watching, stay safe and I'll see you in the next one.